focused here. Sheepish up 1-0 on Jetty. Winner goes to the Invitationals. Loser out of Season 1. All said and done. Jetty's back against the wall. Absolutely. And what speaking of Jetty right here, on the blue come. side, starting out as Cutter and making a Jackrabbit immediately going Generator first. What is going on? going to go for we the cheeky Jenny. play. And Nick on the red side, who do we got? Oh, we got the man Sheepish Flyer known as Admiration. Uh, as well, he went Jackrabbit right off the rip as Supply well. So I think, and he's got his, he's got his rally point behind Jetty's base. We're probably going to see mini base trades. There's no holds barred going on right now, Pat. They're out for blood. They're yeah. out for mini base. Notice thing about, or notice this interesting thing about Rift is that he's going for the mini base on the right. Generally, the players go for the mini base on the left Supply side of the front door, upgrade, simply because it's a closer travel distance and much harder to defend. Sure. But that means that players usually Sound buy that mini base first. So I want to see what Flyer is going to be doing. Here he goes. He's sprinting. He's going. He's zooming. Oh, he's, he's got it. So he's going to take the mini base right behind, and Jetty immediately goes for the one furthest from him, which is probably Supply what you know, most players think they need to get the one furthest from them. Yeah. It's going to be the first one that the enemy goes for. Guess what? Yeah. Not and the case here. Sheepish officially does pick up that mini as well. Jetty going generator That's first. Such a I wonder if he is going for a quick tech style of play. Uh, going generator first is really tough as cutter simply because you need a good infantry army out first. So having more supply definitely helps out with that. You can still go generator third, fifth if you'd like, or generator third into double barracks or something along those lines. Um, so I'm really curious to see what Jetty attack. opts in for after he does go generator first. And uh, of course, at the same time, Sheepish doing a very Similar build to what he did last time, opting for Generator 3rd and into Barracks 5th. But at the moment, Nick, if you notice on the mini-map, Sheepish does have three mini-bases to Jetty's one. Yeah. He's, he's got four places to pump, and Jetty has just found out the bad news that Sheepish is behind him. Nothing is on that base yet. He's got to realize that Sheepish's economy might be a little bit wonky at the moment. He's got to go ahead and try to kill that as quickly as possible. Yeah. It's, uh, but Jetty, by the way... Yeah. 750 on the power. He power can upgrade his base in the next 20 seconds or so. Yeah, and he's going a second generator. Come on, quick second. Generator fifth at the moment, at the same time. Uh, that's exactly what he's doing. Look at these beautiful skinned pelicans here. That looks awesome. Gonna be flying away. Second generator is gonna come up about the same time. I wonder if he's just gonna go for the tech two or if he's gonna upgrade this generator. Uh, he should just go straight for tech two. He generator needs to get a little bit of units on the field right now to start getting rid of the mini base right behind base his base. Is not, Sheepish isn't even building anything on it. I think it's more of a distraction play. Yeah. You're also there noticing that red right is converging two. across the map right now. It's happening, Dick. It's happening. You know, a whole position here for Jetty. We'll start rallying more Marines over to add some DPS to get the health on this mini base down to nil. Moving across as well. I just want to take a look here at Sheepish's build. Marines. Doing exactly what he did the last game. Only getting one some gen. snipers out. Ooh, going for Hellbringers now. There's a chance that Sheepish is going to scout this and see the quick tech, and he's going to be like, wait, what? And then attack. he's just going to get extra aggressive. It's going to be really tough. He should have already seen the quick tech bet. The, the, he had a jackrabbit go right past the base yeah, just about he, 10 he seconds certainly ago, did, so he, he saw should the notice second it. Gen also, so. Yeah. <clears throat> we take a look here. It's going to be troublesome. No, no you. No you. No oh, you. Sorry, this is gonna, I think this is going to be troublesome <laughs> for Sheepish. He's got a terrible economy right now. Uh, he's only got one gen. He's trying to pick up some power nodes on the map. He's only got one. Uh, if Jetty can hold off this initial push right here from, from Admiration, then... It, Jetty will probably get a good steamroll going here. Yeah, it could potentially be the case. Um, the difference Marines, being 57 army population to 24 at the moment because yeah, a Kodiak, Jetty's just got to oh, hold it off. It to Warthog, actually. I thought he was going to do some cheeky Kodiak play. Generator Kodiak's actually been very complete. helpful uh, if he could get enough out, but Warthogs are definitely going to be better with mobility. As well as a turret here for Jetty at the same time. Definitely needs a second one or he will not be able to hold off this bush with just a one vehicle depot. Mini base for Sheepish is going down as well. Yeah, Certainly, if Sheepish would have built a, uh, a supply pad on this mini base, he would have actually paid for itself in more. Potentially got him like 50 extra supply or something along those lines if he would have sacked it. But uh, 72 units, Pat, to 29. Sheepish is about to push onto the front door of Jetty. I don't think Jetty's in a position to actually defend this right now. Yeah. He probably has ODST at this point, but so does Sheepish actually can't buy ODST at this moment. So, uh... 
we'll have to see. Timing's gonna be pretty good. Your for Snipe's it, gonna try to get some picks after he gets aggressive. Yeah, yeah. and he's Our actually about to be able to get ODST attacked. right now. Anyways, the snipers are doing their job. I'm Except he's got to get him out of there. The jackrabbit is picking them off. Now getting aggressive on the mini base here. Cheapish is certainly gonna be able to drop this mini without much contest. At the same time. Jetty now has a good amount of units here to actually defend this with a turret as well as a Spartan is what it looked like. So Jerome will be rolling out to be extra annoying. Really like that Cheapish does not go for Hero. At least not yet, because Heroes are a big liability in UNSC matchups. Simply because of snipers. Generator upgrade complete. Until attack 2. Uh, we're about to have the We're about to have the engagement right here. Yeah, Sheepish knows he needs to get aggressive at this point. Will actually get right to the turret as well immediately. If he picks off that turret very quickly, he could pick the garage directly after that. Mine's coming down for Jetty as well. Good job out of the attack. way. Not even going to be affected by that at all. Sniper will be targeting Barracks those mines at the same time. Hijack research. If you point is up now for getting Jetty directly as well right here. on top of the army composition, Nick, grenades flying out as well. Snipers are in the mix for Jetty. Not even micro back, so they could easily get picked here. But I think Jetty is just standing still with the micro right now. Ooh, Needs complete whiff of the ground pound there as well for Jetty. Kodiak now coming in as well, going to be picked. Looks like... Uh, but those mines actually come back and do quite a bit of damage. Yeah. Mines laying down, of course, Our on the turret, though, will be attack. pretty good. Jetty having the support of these ODSTs, and I think that Jetty has successfully defended this push. I think Admiration is going to have to back up. Watch the mines. Oh, mines do pick a couple units. No! Admiration, no! Oh, a bunch of these He's red walking units right back down. into them. Still keep if that ODST does a stomp right here, I'm sorry if that Spartan does, no, he's, he's lost this engagement. Jetty needs to pick up a secondary base and needs to take control of this map right now. Yeah. That Our single snipe is, is also doing attack. a good amount of work. Um, as a cutter player, you really want to keep your ODSTs alive under any circumstance possible. Um, looks like Sheepish right now is getting closer and closer to 1000 power at the same time, so we'll be getting into the Tech 2 game. Here in just a second. Actually, I'm sorry, he's well, been sitting He's already got tech. tech 2 right now. Yeah, so that's actually a very good thing in my opinion, because he did. He picked the turret, he picked the garage, and he just actually Leader just followed Jetty ready. enough to honestly just start cycling in different kinds of units. Honestly, at this point, I'd just go for some air units or something along the lines. Air pad is going up. So, issue being 11 yeah, army to 29. Versus hog. Yeah, Hornet Shred Hogs, but keep in mind that garages are pretty readily available for hog players because guess what they can just go right into wolverines supply pad losing as many as well as a mix in a few wolves there <clears throat> yeah second base going down for jetty very good idea because guess what you're not going to see an engagement from red for a little bit might as well try to establish more dominance on the map by some free real estate gonna see what he's gonna be able to do with that situation cyclops rolling out as well for sheepers so that's a pretty good concept um, but uh, you really don't want to make too many Cyclops, because even though they are anti-vehicle, and you do have Raid, which makes them faster, they are still very, very, very bad against Leader point basic earned. vehicles. Jetty doing a very reasonably wise play here, going to be pushing out immediately with his small army. Supply pad upgrade Just to try to complete. harass maybe Leader point base, which is exactly what he's going for, actually. Sheepish actually did. Admiration got a few Cyclops in here. I know much of a fan you are of Cyclops, so Fire see how well they and handled these Warthogs. I would. I'd be surprised attack. if Jetty doesn't swap into air. Continuing the Warthog push, actually. Supply pad we'll see what he does after he uh, physically does run into th the Red Army. You think he's going to swap into into air at that point? If anything, he might just keep going infantry to. We'll scout and see Supply pad the air pad. Just one. We'll also, Jetty is going to pick the midi base at the same time, so that's just annoying. Luckily, he did put his uh, second generator on a midi base behind his main, so it's easily defendable, if that's a word. Jetty is now upgrading his expansion as well, so Jetty is certainly ahead right now here. in terms of economy. However, in army population, they're pretty close. In fact, Admiration just passed him. Needs to kind of instigate the engagement though. Needs to make it happen. Well we've got a flank of the Hornets right here. It's probably gonna go try to pick off the They could do a lot uh, of damage. Mini base right here. Yeah anti infantry turns. Well oh, he's back got of wolves pulled out. Oh he does? Okay. He's then got, he yeah Jetty's got a couple wolves he just okay. needs to back them up. Yeah Jetty's Our also gonna have his base finish attack. upgrading here fairly soon as well. Jetty's deciding that hey I can't push that main so I'm just gonna pull back. 
Wolverine this point, Jody kind of needs to just suffocate. Yeah, he just got a couple of Yeah, the, the two Wolverines that he's got here can easily defend us, so these Hornets will have to try and harass a different location. This game just got another, I'd say, about six minutes added onto it, just from the delay of the turrets. Wolverine here, show me the target. Jetty having his unit Supply here to scout the location of a potential expansion, but will get picked off, simply because it wasn't in a more ideal situation. Hornets are now hunting Blue Army, and they will find it. Honestly, these Hornets Hornet, could attack yeah. this. It's a very vulnerable army. Yeah. yeah. He is going to back off, just as he knows the Wolverines Well, maybe he wants to keep that army alive. Yeah, it could the be. Superior, he's, uh, sheep, yeah, he's got the superior army. Might want to keep those ones alive right there. Yeah. Five Cyclops now. Leader Sticking with the air. Already. That's a big Five investment. Cyclops. ODST is now dropping as well. Drop. Those ODSTs Hornet, can very easily orders. get picked off, and he certainly should just to kind of... Yeah, Jetty realizes that he might have potentially messed up with that drop Hornet and wasted his eco and his ODSTs on that. Because now he's just going to fly Keep away. He's getting tech three. That's actually pretty wise, considering he could get the upgrades more quickly. Our base is under but attack. definitely need more Ooh, units just at the found... Look just at found the, the generator. Sitting Five on the mini. snipers as well. Over. Yeah, it's very unfortunate. Uh, Aberration certainly needs to push that, or he's going to potentially get aggressive with the Hornets. That could be another really wise play, considering that he has all these Cyclops back home, and the Wolverines are definitely way too far away to support. That's exactly what he's going to do, Nick. Watch the path. Jetty's, Look Jetty's at this Jetty's got to get turrets up right now. Look at he's this. sitting on 1,700. Oh, my. Look at this play, though. He's sitting he's on 1,700 pace. He's got to get this. something going. That's amazing, though. Check this out. Why? He could, he could go kill the main right now. I don't think Jetty can turn around in time. And Jetty doesn't know that these units are flying across the map. He buys the expansion the other side, too. This is a very, very wise complete. play. He completely bypassed both power nodes. Jetty's going to be 150% unprepared for this. Does Jetty have any idea what's you going on? You think Jetty can complete. push the main, though? Jetty is actually yeah. sending a, a wolf to trade. buy that expo. Our base is under I don't attack. think he could successfully oh, kill gonna... it. He's gonna find out the hard truth right now. Yeah, these hornets really need to back need that wolf up as well. His wolves are about to start getting ripped one by one if he does not back them up. Yeah, just, just gonna casually focused. walks them into the battle. Wolverine, wolves, ready for uh, Wolverine orders. party is certainly bad be macro sent. play there. Yep, there it is. Wolves are now Wolverine getting solo queued on assault. their way over here. Uh, the good thing for Jetty really is that he did spot that base though. before it came up. Yeah, Admiration got a little yeah, bit a little, uneasy little there and just there. walked away from the engagement. He's buying himself some time, but he's still sitting on one base with all these units. And look at this, he's actually down on Eco because he's massing heavy supply pads to double pump Hornets. That's certainly not going to get him out of this sticky out situation. I think it just earned. all came down to uh, the timing push from Admiration. I think he, he didn't scout quick enough to see the quick tech going on, and when he did, he Turret didn't win the engagement. So it actually put him in such a bad standpoint in the game. Here comes Big Daddy reporting for duty. Don't quite know how we can get out of this right now. Those wolves infantry. are just going to have a field day right here. Supply Honestly, this, this Jerome could take I'm surprised that he's not sacrificing those snipers, though. It's just a waste of space uh, at this point. And all the Hornets do get caught in the middle of the map. By well, I guess for the Cyclops. I guess for the Cyclops. Never mind. I take oh, that yeah. back. He's going to turn and actually engage this as well. Calls in the... Oh wow, that's a very interesting, interesting play there. I don't know if I actually agree. I guess it's all he's got in the toolkit here. We'll have to engage this. Yeah, army. Seventy-one units. Constructed. Sixty-seven. Our allies are in trouble. Yeah, still having to chase down wolves. Yeah, computers. there's a here big a <laughs> the ODST assault group. Leader power command. ready. And that's honestly going to decide Leader the fate power ready. of admiration. No way he could possibly come back from that, even with close air support, stripping through all these units. Eighty to twenty-eight. Eighty to sixteen. ODST is coming Drops in. Drops in well. ODSTs of his own. Yeah, just sniper's gonna go ahead and pick that off. I take back my comment about those snipers. It was a really, really nice play to keep them in there. And we were one to one. Pat. Boom. <laughs> Wouldn't have it any other way. Tie game. Another interesting thing to think about is that next game is going to be on Bedrock. So Bedrock is a much bigger map, and it's very much so three lane. Um, very interesting choke points and uh, in lack thereof at the same time. So definitely going to see some interesting plays, probably some different variations of attacks from these guys, especially openers. Uh, that'd be Bedrock's another really good map to go for a quick tech if possible.